This article is about the phonology and phonetics of the Slovene language. Topic consonants Slovene has 21 distinctive consonant phonemes. Per meter, p, b, are bilabial, whereas, f, are labiodental. T, d, t, s, s, z, and d, z are dental t, d, t, s, s, z, d, z, i, e, t, d, are laminal denti alveolar, while, t, s, s, z, and d, z are dentalized laminal alveolar, pronounced with the blade of the tongue very close to the upper front teeth, with the tip of the tongue resting behind lower front teeth. N, l, r, are alveolar. The first two are laminal denti alveolar and l before dental consonants. In addition, n is velar before velar consonants, and it merges with per meter to a labiodental before labiodental consonants. There is not a full agreement about the realization of r. Sestarzik, Comer, and Pettic (1999) consider it to be an alveolar tap. Greenberg (2006) states that it varies between an alveolar trill r and alveolar tap. Throughout the book, he uses the latter symbol. Pretner and Tokars and Priestley consider it to be an alveolar trill R, R, is uvular in a number of upper Carniolan and Corinthian dialects. R, may be syllabic. R, has also been described as the sequence, R, with an epithetic. Jones 2002 found that a vocalic segment similar to occurs before and occasionally after both syllabic and non-syllabic, R, and that it is shorter than epithetic, leading to the conclusion that this is not epithetic. But simply a feature of trill production in Slovene, t, d, are palato alveolar, t, d, but they can be laminal retroflex. For some speakers, particularly those living close to the Croatian border, all voiced obstruents are devoiced at the end of words unless immediately followed by a word beginning with a vowel or a voiced consonant. In consonant clusters, voicing distinction is neutralized and all consonants assimilate the voicing of the rightmost segment. In this context, v, and d, z may occur as voiced allophones of f, x, and t, s, respectively e.g. ver dreveza our doctor e saw, has several allophones depending on context. Before a vowel, pronunciation is labiodental, also described as v. After a vowel, pronunciation is bilabial w and forms a diphthong. At the beginning of a syllable, before a consonant for example in vsi all, the pronunciation varies more widely by speaker and area. Many speakers convert into a full vowel u in this position. For those speakers that retain a consonantal pronunciation, it is pronounced w before a voiced consonant and before a voiceless consonant. Thus, vsi may be pronounced as disyllabic uc or monosyllabic c. The preposition v is always bound to the following word. However, its phonetic realization follows the normal phonological rules for the sequences, lj, nj, and rj, occur only before a vowel. Before a consonant or word finally, they are reduced to l, n, and r, respectively. This is reflected in the spelling in the case of rj, but not for lj, and nj. The reduction of non-prevocalic, lj, and nj, occurs in standard Slovene, but not for certain dialects, where speakers use and in this position instead. Under certain somewhat unpredictable circumstances, historical l at the end of a syllable has become w, the allophone of in that position. This change has occurred in the endings of all past participles. For many derivatives of words ending in w that historically had l, both l and w can be used, sometimes depending on the context it is being used in. Topic vowels Slovene has an eight vowel according to Peter Jurgit's nine vowel system, in comparison to the five vowel system of Serbo-Croatian. The close front vowel, i, is regularly pronounced as lax, when, r, follows, so that e.g. mira, mer, is pronounced, m, a. The central vowels, and, are phonetically mid, and near open. Respectively, Jurgit's proposes the existence of a ninth vowel, that in traditional pronunciation, see below under prosody, would rather be analyzed as a short, a. Uh, However, since the more recent studies indicate that native speakers don't actually phonemically distinguish long and short vowels yet the distinction between and a is quite consistently perceived, and moreover there is a noticeable distinction in quality and a lesser distinction in quantity between these two vowels, there is reason to treat these two sounds as two different phonemes. The near open can only appear in the word final stressed syllable before the syllable coda, as in saws t, s, time. 
Due to the restrictions stated above, the open a usually appears in its place in other declinational forms of the same word, kasa, t, asa, not t, sa, time. Gen. The analysis as two different phonemes is also reinforced by the fact that in some words the phoneme a appears in the very same position that would permit leading to a phonemic contrast, pa, pa, not peas, belt. Jurgitz also states that in the tonemic varieties of the language, the near open vowel can carry only the high tone see below, which is parallel to the pattern for the and he also notes that similarly to the schwa likewise only appears in closed syllables, i.e. as the nucleus before the syllable coda. On the basis of these observations he concludes that the near open vowel behaves in a systematic way within the vowel system of Slovenian, according to Jurgitz 2007, is inserted epenthetically, and its distribution is fully predictable. He also says that d ascriptions of schwa distribution are offer ed in lexical rather than grammatical terms. These were also based on historical data and did not consider actual speech of educated speakers in Ljubljana, nowadays considered standard. The dialectal distribution of e versus and o versus is inconsistent with the distribution in standard Slovene. This influences the way speakers of such dialects speak standard Slovene. Slovene has been traditionally described as distinguishing vowel length, which correlates with stress and is therefore discussed in the prosody section, below. The distinction between and e, and between and o, is only made when they are stressed and long. When short or unstressed, they are not distinguished. Short stressed variants are realized as open mid while the unstressed variants are, broadly speaking, true mid vowels. E, o, in fact, however, the unstressed mid vowels have two realizations, lowered close mid between close mid and true mid e, o, before a stressed syllable as in velikan giant and ogla's advertisement. Raised open mid between true mid and open mid, after a stressed syllable as in medved bear and podic stream, the unstressed mid vowels are never as close as the stressed close mid vowels e, o, and never as open as the stressed open mid vowels. However, Sestarzik, Comer and Pedic report true mid allophones e, o, of the close mid vowels e, o, occurring in the sequences e, j, and o, but only if a vowel does not follow within the same word. One could therefore argue that the unstressed mid vowels are simply allophones of the close mid vowels, whereas the open mid vowels do not occur in unstressed positions. Another argument for transcribing the unstressed mid vowels as e, o, is that these symbols are easier to write than. In the colloquial spoken language, unstressed and most short stressed vowels tend to be reduced or elided. For example, cup heap greater than kp, provimo we say greater than promo. Topic <laughs> prosody. Scholars have found that vowel length in standard Slovene is no longer distinctive, and that the only differences in vowel length are that the stressed vowels are longer than the unstressed ones, and that stressed open syllables are longer than stressed closed syllables. Stressed syllables are characterized by amplitude and pitch prominence. In tonemic varieties, stressed syllables also have a distinction of phonemic tone, high or low. All dialects of Slovene have phonemic stress, but the same word can be accented quite differently in different dialects. Most words have a single syllable that carries stress. Some compounds, but not all, have multiple stresses, inherited from the parts that make up the compound. There are also a few small words and clitics, including prepositions, that have no inherent stress at all and attach prosodically to another word. In traditional pronunciation In non-final syllables, quantitative accent increased syllable length is also present in almost all words. In tonemic varieties, stressed syllables also have a distinction of phonemic tone, high or low. Stress and vowel length are closely intertwined. A non-final syllable that bears stress will automatically have a long vowel. Conversely, at most one vowel in a Slovene word is long, and it automatically bears the stress. If a word has no long vowels, the stress usually falls on the final syllable. However, a limited number of words have non-final stress on short syllables. The combination, r, although phonetically short, may be stressed and behaves as a long vowel in that case. In particular, it may carry tonal distinctions. Schwa, 
in other positions can also carry the stress, but does not have tonal distinctions and thus behaves as a short vowel. Note that vowel length is clearly phonemic in stressed final syllables, which can be either long or short. In other syllables, however, whether vowel length or stress, or both, are phonemic depends on the underlying phonological analysis. Generally speaking, stress and length co occur in all but the final syllable, so one feature or the other is phonetically redundant in those words. Topic. Tone The standard language has two varieties, tonemic and nontonemic. These differ only in the presence of phonemic tonal distinctions on stressed syllables i.e. pitch accent in the former. Phonemic tone exists only in a north-south band of dialects in the center of the country the upper and lower Carniolan dialect groups and part of the Corinthian dialect group. However, because the Slovenian capital city Ljubljana is located within the central tonemic dialect area, phonemic tone was included in the standard language, and in fact the tonemic variety is more prestigious and is universally used in formal TV and radio broadcasts. The exact distribution and phonetic realization of tonemes varies locally. In standard Slovene, some words with the traditionally long vowels, a, e, o, i, u, may have either a high or low tone, unless otherwise noted. This article discusses the tonemes as they are realized in standard Slovene spoken in Ljubljana. In the tonemic variety, the following additional rules apply to stressed vowels unstressed vowels never carry tonal distinction. Long vowels as well as tautosyllabic stressed, r, i.e. stressed, r, not directly followed by a vowel in the same word can bear either a high or low tone. The terms falling or circumflex are sometimes used in place of high, likewise, rising or acute may be used in place of low. High tone low mid, are uncommon. Short vowels other than, are always high tone. When not part of a stressed, r, combination is normally tonemically high in final syllables and low elsewhere, this leads to the following possible combinations of tone, length and vowel quality. Note that tautosyllabic stressed, r, behaves like a long vowel in terms of the tones it can bear, and in fact it is notated as such in the tonemic writing system see above. Examples, pr, saintnika phalanx with high tone versus per stank finger with low tone. However, since it does not have any length distinction, it is equally valid to class it as a short vowel. The non-tonemic system is identical to the tonemic system above in terms of vowel length and stress, but lacks any phonemic tone. This means that, for those dialects, the first and second rows merge, as do the third and fourth. Similarly, for many speakers who do not distinguish short and long vowels, the first and third rows merge, as do the second and fourth. An exception to this is the traditional o, which does not merge with a acute. Instead, the former is realized as topic <laughs> sample. The sample text is a reading of the first sentence of the North Wind and the Sun. The transcription is based on a recording of two speakers, a female and a male, from Ljubljana. It does not indicate tone. Topic. Phonemic transcription Cerni eater in sant, sstas s p r parala, ka teri d n g ju j m t, neji, k j mim p r i p potnik, za it, t p plat. Topic. Phonetic transcription Seni et in sant, sstas sp piala, ka te dn giju j m t, neji, k j mim p w p potnik, za it u t p w plat. Orthographic version Severni viter in sans sta se preparala, kateri od n giju jamakne si, ko je mimo prizel papotnik, zavit v topal plask equals equals notes <laughs>